I bring to you a card that has found a place in everybody's squad this year. Honestly, by releasing this card, EA have released a cheat code. A cheat code in FIFA. They have done everybody wrong by releasing this card. It is going to tear defenses assholes apart. I bring to you Mr. Player of the Year, N'Golo Kante. 92 rated N'Golo Kante. 90 pace, 92 dribbling, 85 shooting, 92 defending, 91 passing, and 94 physical. EA have, as I said just before, they've done the wrong. They've, they've done everyone wrong here. They they have released a cheat code, and I don't think this should be allowed. The big question, though, that everybody will be asking about this card is: Is he worth 1.2 million coins before team of the season? Is he worth 1.2 million coins? You have to find out at the end of the video. Moving on into the clips now though, and you'll just see what he's capable of. I mean, I can't, I don't know where to start. I honestly don't know where to start. His passing is amazing. His pace, oh my god. His shooting, oh my god. His dribbling, Ozil-esque, no, Messi-esque, Messi-esque. His passing, Ozil-esque. Honestly. I don't know where to start. Dribbling. I'll move on to his dribbling. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. His dribbling literally is one of the best I've used in this game, uh, to be honest with you. One of the best. And I'm going to be honest, you know, he is probably one of the best midfielders I have used in this game so far now. Like, uh, he is a very pricey player, but just uh, to, to say no to this card for the price that you can get him for, I mean, yes, 1.2 million coins is a lot, but... Oh my goodness, his dribbling is amazing. As you see, just skipping in and out of, in and out of challenges, time after time, just with that agility and with that dribbling stat that he has. He also has, you know, when he used the body faint with him, he, look at that goal, I mean, just look at that goal. The combination of dribbling, the combination of shooting and, and, and the way he skips in and out of challenges, look at this body faint. I mean, past the defender like, like, like a breeze. Like a breeze and into the top corner with his finishing. He's crossing. I'll move on to his crossing as you see this clip here. Um, I used to, I, I would regularly, you know, cross it in with that player. But just because of how good his dribbling is, he's able to, you know, skip in and out of those of those defenders. Like you've seen here. In between the gaps, there's probably three or four defenders there. He's just avoided by doing the skill dribble. As you see, he's shooting. Oh, the power. The power is fantastic. I believe he has 85 long shots, but they do feel more than that, I must admit. Look at the dip on that shot too. I mean, if that had gone in, it would have been amazing. But as you would have seen from the intro, his long shots are just orgasmic. Orgasmic, uh, you know, just that long shot I scored with him really did just sum up what this player's, you know, what he's about. And just, oh, just look at him muscling off that defender there. Look at him just jumping over that tackle like he was not, not even there. As you see, his 90 pace really does help. I'll stop here with him using that dribble, that, you know, 99 agility, I believe he has it. Oh, oh my God. And then this is what I'm talking about. His crossing is amazing. Straight into to Martial, and it's, you know, it's a free header. It's a free header because of his crossing. He's just amazing. Uh, you know, he has 91 passing, and uh, I, can't I can't remember what his stat was for crossing, but uh, it was just amazing. As you see, just skipping in and out of challenges. He's just beaten five defenders there, six defenders, seven defenders, before he gets, mu gets muscled off the ball. I mean, honestly, uh, it's hard to distribute him from any other card in the game. Um, I'm going to have to say it. Kante is the best midfielder I've used in this game. This player of the year, Kante, is the best midfielder. Look at the chip. Look at that chip. He's shooting. He's finishing. He's everything. I'm going to say he's everything because I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say what stats stats bad, what stats good, you know, what overrides something else. Just everything seems to work. That there is nothing wrong with him. Honestly, absolutely nothing wrong with him. His pace is amazing. His dribbling is amazing. His defending is amazing. His physical is such like he was muscling off big, strong defenders like Boateng and and and, and Hummels and and Sergio Ramos. I mean, a small fellow like that muscles off those big defenders. I mean, 
uh, he's just just amazing. His passing, oh my goodness. He's great at those long passes. You know, the driven pass into the striker's feet, you know, for the hold-up play. Look at that. Look at that for hold-up play. Straight through. You know, I'm going, 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 using that pace of him. You know, his pace is amazing. 90 pace. And uh, the cut back for nine Dolan. And he's passing, once again, as I said. Just amazing. And, uh, yeah. The question you guys have wanted to be, uh, you know, wanted answered is, is he worth 1.2 million coins? Yes. Team of the season is around the corner. And yes, you're going to be able to get so many great Team of the Season cards for 1.2 million coins. Look at this. Look at this for dribbling, though. And that shot as well. You know, it was unlucky not to go in. But just look at him winning the headers over tall pe people like that. I mean, Kante's five foot or so. Uh, I can't remember what his, you know, height is. But he's this little fella out jumping six foot players. I mean, how does that honestly work? He's got blistering pace, as I said before. Look at the pass. A driven pass from, uh, you know, a driven pass from David Luiz. You know, another another pass up to the striker. You know, any other player wouldn't be able to do that. They would not be able to do that unless you're you know, a team of the year Modric or a team of the year Cruz or something like that. Look at him holding off the defender there. That physical is just amazing. But going back to his price, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to say, but I do think uh, this Kante is worth 1.2 million coins. Now, why I say it's tough is because team of the season is just around the corner. And as I said before, you know, there are going to be so many great team of the season cards that you can buy for 1.2 million coins, and let alone you can sell them again. You know, this Kante is untradeable. So just remember to keep that in mind. If you want this Kante, if you love the Kante, if you love Kante's normal card, if you love Kante's orange card, if you love his inform, grab this card because I know myself I love those cards you know the man of the match and that shot that shot I mean no one no keeper in the world is stopping that top corner shot from Kante look at that just look it's disgusting it's disgusting top corner and honestly his normal card wouldn't be able to do that his inform wouldn't be able to do that his man of the match wouldn't be able to do that but with that 85 shooting that Kante has now oh my god is he a good player Absolutely fantastic, and uh, I do highly recommend you guys picking this card up. Do bear in mind that he is untradeable, you won't be able to sell him, and that it's 1.2 million coins down the drain. You won't be seeing that ever again. But if you do love Kante, and you love your BPL, uh, you know, sides, and you really want this card, I do highly recommend you guys picking this card up. But that'll be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can we smash 10 likes? That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And that's it for me. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this Kante review. And peace.